Gunmen opened fire inside Cameo nightclub. Questions were raised about other bars and clubs. Today, city leaders talked about liquor licenses citywide after the owner of Cameo voluntarily surrendered the club's permit to sell alcohol. It's only a small number of liquor permit premises out there that continually come up on our radar. But Assistant Police Chief Paul Newdigate said no other establishment has caused enough trouble to ask city leaders to try to kill the bar's license. The thing that we do have to remember is these are private enterprises and it, you know, at this point all we can do is make recommendations about uh, security procedures. Two people spoke out against two establishments today, one in the East End and one in Roselawn. Because no action was taken today, we are not naming the businesses. Police and a city attorney said any possibility of revoking a liquor license involves multiple steps over multiple days. Some may say, why is it taking so long? Well, I can tell you that we're very successful and there is no delay on our part. It's just the inherent process. Part of that process involves efforts to help a club or bar owner get back in compliance when an establishment steps out of bounds. You know, owning a a liquor permit premise is actually, a, you know, it's a privilege. We don't want to appear heavy handed. We want to find that fine balance. But uh, for those that are outliers, we're, we're going to bring you back within the, uh, the norms. And Assistant Chief Newdigate said 97% of liquor permit premises in the city are good community partners. Keep in mind, liquor permits are not cheap. Councilman Kevin Flynn said a full license for a bar or club outside one of the city's entertainment districts can cost up to $40,000. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.